Tonight out of Mill Creek Canyon in Salt Lake County where an avalanche has buried at least eight people. We are just learning that at least four of those victims have died. We're heading out to Fox 13. Spencer Joseph, who was live at the mouth of Mill Creek Canyon with the latest. And Spencer, we understand just in the last hour or so, you got this grim update from officials. Tell us what you know right now. Yeah, so let's just start off with the basics here. Uh, as you said, eight people involved in this avalanche. Four have been found alive and have been transported off of the mountain. The other four, unfortunately, uh, died because of their injuries sustained in this avalanche. Uh, Unified Police actually getting the call around 1140 this morning. Anybody that's gone to the top of Mill Creek Canyon knows that cell phone reception in this canyon is actually not very good at all. So it was a very garbled call initially coming out as five people buried. We now know that number to be eight, but I want to start with a shot that we got just about an hour ago of one of the survivors being hoisted off of the mountain and down, walking away under his own power. Take a look. Yeah, so you could see him there uh, limping off the helicopter with the help of air med officials, but walking away under uh, his own power. So again, to recap what we know, it was a group of eight people. They all know each other. They were all friends, and they were backcountry skiing together in the Wilson's Great area of Mill Creek Canyon. Again, the avalanche happening around 1130 or 1140 when UPD uh, got that call, initially saying those five skiers were trapped. We now know that number to be eight. We also know that the ski Skiers were alive, they were able to dig themselves out and then dig the other four that unfortunately uh, did pass away on the mountain. They were able to get themselves out and then dig their fellow skiers out. So all of the bodies actually have been removed from the snow. We did talk to Unified Police about how they're making sure that everybody gets off the mountain and also making sure that they check and, and see if anybody else was trapped in that and making sure that there are no other bodies on the mountain as well as how this takes a toll on rescuers. So like I said, there were rescuers up there checking to, to be sure that we had everyone out of there. And that will be verified too as, as we bring these um, other people down, being able to talk to them and know exactly who was up there and what they saw. It's always difficult um, for those rescuers and we bring in our peer support and some counseling to help those people deal with this because it is very difficult. They have spent numerous hours hiking in incredibly dangerous conditions to go up there. Um, only to have people that have been deceased. This still is a very active situation. We've seen a few helicopters flying around just in the last couple of minutes. Unified Police, Unified Fire, Salt Lake Search and Rescue, and others are definitely uh, in this canyon. Right now, this canyon is shut down for anybody that is coming up here to hike or to go backcountry skiing. And that the major reason is just because of the conditions. So that's the other thing everyone up here has stressed is the conditions are very dangerous for avalanches. So that is why that they are uh, closing Mill Creek Canyon to anyone coming up and going back country skiing or snow snowshoeing right now. However, the businesses in the canyon, they are allowing people up to go to them. Uh, but of course, very active situation as we're learning more just within this last hours and those uh, important details uh, that four actually have been uh, recovered and, and made it off the mountain alive after what really was a, a incredible circumstance. So for now, live in Mill Creek Canyon, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah. Well, Spencer, you mentioned a very fluid situation, a lot of moving parts in this rescue and now a recovery mission. So what are the plans moving forward to recover the bodies of those four people deceased? Yeah, and that's a really important point is that, you know, when it comes down to rescue operations, that's different from recovery. So now that those four that are alive have been rescued, uh, the bodies we know are actually still up on the mountain. So the most important part of this now is to get those down. We know that only the DPS helicopter, Department of Public Safety or the UHP helicopter, uh, can actually hoist uh, those bodies off to bring them down. So the recovery effort is ongoing actually right now as we speak of those bodies. They're not sure that they can get them all off tonight just because of the dangerous conditions. Rescuers on the mountainside are up there and know exactly where they are. However, getting them down is going to be tricky as the sun sets. Uh, 
really hard to fly those helicopters and to get them down. So we don't know if they will get all of them down tonight. That was the plan. However, they're uncertain that they can accomplish that. If not, they will pick it up tomorrow morning and make sure to get those four individuals that unfortunately uh, perished in this avalanche off of the mountainside. Brian, Amy? Mm, my goodness. Our hearts, of course, go out to all these families affected in what we believe may be one of the deadliest slides in Utah history. Spencer Joseph, live for us at Mill Creek Canyon tonight. Thank you. Governor Spencer Cox tweeting out his sympathies for the victims in this tragedy. He went on to say, quote, we are grateful to the first responders and others who engaged in this rescue and recovery effort. With avalanche danger high right now, please exercise extreme caution. And Salt Lake County Mayor also releasing a statement saying, in part, we are broken, heartbroken over the tragic news of four fatalities as the result of an avalanche in the Mill Creek Canyon area this afternoon. This is Mayor Jenny Wilson speaking. She goes on to say, we deeply mourn the loss of life due to this devastating incident. We spoke with avalanche experts with the Utah Avalanche Center about what kinds of conditions they are seeing and why today's avalanche danger was so high across the state. That early season snowpack is now like a house of cards, both at the foundation and in the mid pack, a couple feet down. It's really one of the weakest and most dangerous snowpacks we've seen in quite some time. Avalanche forecasters tell us the recent storms have overloaded the under snowpack, creating the dangerous conditions we are seeing. They've seen a number of natural and human caused avalanches over the past few days. Many of these avalanches look very similar. Again, they're, they're going very deep and very wide. And they're very dangerous. You should always check avalanche conditions before heading out into the backcountry. We've got a link to all of that information on our website, fox13now.com.